Hey what's going on guys my name is Rafi and welcome back to another Premiere Pro tutorial from IraFX. So in this video we'll be learning about a playback shortcut that will be really useful for your editing workflow. So to start off I already have a project opened up and this is my requirement. I want the playback to be started from 1 second before the position of the marker and it has to end until 1 second after the position of the marker. So I want it to play from 2 seconds to 4 seconds with one single shortcut. So to do that, simply adjust the position of the marker wherever you want and hit shift along with K on your keyboard. Once you hit that, Premiere Pro has started playing the video from 1 second before the marker and ended it until 1 second after the position of the marker. So. 1 second before the timeline marker from 2 to 3 seconds is called the pre-roll and 1 second after the marker from 3 to 4 seconds is called the post-roll. You can define the duration of the pre-roll and the post-roll from the preferences. You can go to edit preferences and hit playback. Here you can define the pre-roll and post-roll so if you want the shortcut to be set to 3 seconds before the marker point you can set 3 here and if you want it to be 2 seconds after the marker you can set it to 2 seconds. In this case for me 1 second is fine. So whenever I need to have a look at the transition I'll just hit shift key on my keyboard so that it will quickly play for that couple of seconds. Let me tell you another quick tip here. If you want to constantly loop the video here for that specific 2 seconds, you can hit this plus button here and you have an option called loop playback. Simply drag this to this pane and hit OK. And if I start enabling this loop playback and if I hit shift K on my keyboard, it would constantly loop the video or loop the playback for that specific 2 seconds that we have defined. If you set the post roll for 3 seconds and pre roll for 3 seconds, the playback would be set for a complete 6 second duration. This would definitely come in handy whenever you want to look at your transitions or the effects that you applied in your project. I hope you found this video helpful and if that's the case give us a thumbs up and if you'd like to talk with me regarding visual effects and video editing you can always reach out to me on Instagram. See you guys next time with another tutorial.